Okay, so guys, this video is for installing of ClickMeeting and uh, screen sharing app on Windows. So from the reminders that we do send every day, now you, you are going to see all these, these important notes here. Install ClickMeeting sharing app on your local system. So by simply clicking on this one, you will come to this place. If you don't have the app already, you have to install it so that um, someone can take control of your screen. Now you can see in this place now, you, that you have this, you have this click here to download the app for Mac OS or click here for Windows. You are going to click this second one. When you click the second one, immediately you click it. It's going to just download that application. So you can see it here. Now, in order for you to install it, you simply come to your downloads, which is where the application is going to download. That is the one that you just downloaded now from here. So you simply click on this one that is here, this click button like this in order to install it. Now, when you click on it, it's going to come up like with this. So you click on run. You accept that as yes. Then you click on next and install. So that's pretty much everything. You can see it already says finish and you can click on this as finish. So that's it there. So when you click on finish and it's rolling, just close it because you don't need it now. So just close it. Now, the next thing, the next step now is to join a meeting. When you want to join a meeting, of course, you know how to join a meeting. You simply come to this place. That is the live session. You click on this. When you click on this, I can see that this is coming in and there is a live session going on on this place, but they don't have live sessions. Yes, yeah, since there is a live session going on on this place. So what I'm going to do is to click on, what you will do is to click on this join session. That is the one with Queen. So I'm simply going to copy this and so I'm simply going to open to click on this. So all you need to do from here again, all you need to do from here is to simply click on that join session. So when you click on that join session, it's going to take you this place. So you enter your name. For me, I'm going to enter my name here. Just wait for it to load and then you enter your name. You enter your email. So you click on enter. So you are going to give the permission for um, this thing. If it, if, it's, if it comes up with maybe you want to give permission, but now we are just going to remove the, the camera and you can cancel out these that you can click on apply start start streaming so you click on this now you can see that i'm showing here as an attendee so this is the host so now if i'm having any issue the first thing that i'm to do is to let the host okay i have an issue to resolve now i would i would then say okay now make me a presenter so immediately you say you have an issue to resolve so shagun can you please make me a presenter okay so you have an issue to resolve so I'm going yes. to make a presenter now. So you have made a presenter. So you can see now that immediately I change to a presenter. I have this extra panel here. Now what this is saying is that now I can share my screen and do some other stuff instead of just being an invitee. So in order for me to share my screen, given that I have already installed that app, so what I'm going to just do is to click on share screen. Now you can see this option. Normally I can share in browser, but because of the fact that I want to also, I want someone to control my screen. You have to click on this run in app. That is that app that they are saying is the one that you installed from the beginning of this video. And remember this video is for Windows. So you click on run in app. So you can see that this will come up with this and it's going to show you is it in full screen, screen area or something? I'm going to just click on full screen.
I see your screen now. So now I'm able to share my screen. So what about if I want to give control to someone, maybe anybody in the um, call, in the meeting? All I just have to do is to click on this one that is here. So now I want to give the host, that is this host control. Remember, you can give anybody. It's not more that it should be the host. You can give maybe another person an invite or something. So all you have to click is this icon that is here beside that person that you want to give your, your control to. When you click on it, it's going to come up with all these functions, like this, all these features. So what you want to click is this, going control. So you simply click on yes. So now, um, can you control my screen now? Yes, I can control your screen now. Okay, so now you can see that he is controlling my screen, and that so, is just it. That is everything. If you want to, so I don't know if you have any. What if you want to unmute yourself? We have to show that also. Yes, if you want to unmute yourself. Now this can be a bit um tricky. Maybe you might be looking like you want to unmute yourself from here. No, you can't unmute yourself from here. If you want to unmute yourself, this is where you are going to unmute yourself, like this. So you can see now that I've been able to unmute myself from here. And if you also want to turn up, turn on your camera, you simply click on this one. This is where you'll be controlling whatever you want to do. But for this one, you won't, this one is just showing you the indi indication and showing other people that, okay, you have unmute or something. But if you, if you want to control it, you have to come to this panel here, which you can see in this place. So let me mute myself again. So I don't do, do you have any other question, please? No, that's okay. okay. So th thank you very much. So if you have any other question or any challenges, just let us know. Thank you very much.